Hello, hope you're doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a dropshipping website on Wix. The first thing you will need to do is go onto Wix.com. Once you are signed up, and by the way, you don't need a credit card or anything like that to get started, all you'll need is your email address. Once you are signed up, you will be redirected to a page just like this, and you are going to tap on Create New Site in the top right hand corner. After you have tapped on create new site, you will be redirected to this page. And all you'll need to do now is tap on create on Wix editor. After you have done that, you will be redirected to a new page. And we're going to tap right where you see set up without AI. After you have selected set up without AI, what I want you to do next is on the search bar, we're going to simply type in online store or you can select it from the option right here then you'll tap on next after you have tapped on next you will be redirected to the dashboard once on your wix dashboard i will show you what to do next dashboard you'll add your store name right here so you can type in whatever you want then you are going to tap on next in the bottom right hand corner then from here you can see do you already have an online store I'll tap on no I'm just getting started then tap on next what would you like to sell physical products or drop shipping products I'm going to be selecting drop shipping then I'm going to tap on next then from their sales channel so it will be online store if you also plan on using marketplaces for example like TikTok or Facebook you could select that also then you can tap on next, then tap on continue to dashboard. Once you have tapped on continue to dashboard, you will be redirected to this page. What you do is go over to the left hand menu option and the first thing we're going to be doing is setting up our PayPal. So you're going to tap right where you see billing and payments. You're going to select payments. Once you have selected payments from here, I want you to tap on manage payment methods and depending on the country that you're located in, you will see different payment options. So for instance, at the moment I am located in Jamaica, so I had set my store location as Jamaica, but you can change it by simply tapping on the current location right there and you can connect your PayPal account by tapping on connect PayPal. You can also connect Tilopay, and if you were to change the location to, for example, United States, you will see more payment options. After you're finished, all you'll need to do now is go over to the left hand menu option and you could select apps, then tap on app market. After you have tapped on app market, what I want you to do next is from the search bar right here, you can see they have quite a few options. You have Dizers and if you were to scroll down, you will see even more options. And if you were to go over to sell online and select dropshipping, you will see all of the dropshipping apps that they have at the moment available as you can see right there. There are quite a few options that you have that you could choose from. But the option that I would recommend that you give a try is this one right here by the name of sub drop shipping and the reason why I recommend sub drop shipping is because it is completely free so with sub drop shipping you'll be able to add products from Aliexpress quickly onto your site so all you will need to do from here you can simply tap on add to site so first go to editor and place Wix stores on your site so we are going to do that We'll tap on go to editor right here. Then we are going to tap on pick a template. After you have tapped on pick a template, you can scroll down and you can see numerous template options that you can choose from. I'll select this one right here. So I'll tap on edit. Once on this page, all you'll need to do now, you can tap on the X in the top right there. Then we're going to simply go over to the left hand menu option and we're going to tap right where you see add elements. After you have tapped on add elements, all you'll need to do now is simply scroll down. And from there, we're going to tap on store. So you can see right here. So you'll tap on store. 
then from here you can see the different options as you can see right here but before doing that what i want you to do is you're going to tap on home in the top right hand corner after you have tapped on home you can see the different store pages right here so we'll tap on product page let's tap on product page real quick and you could see an example of how a product page look so you can see how it looks at the moment so that is how our product pages will look to add this store again we'll go back to add elements then we're going to hover over store then from there you can see the different options so you can see the different options right here and what I'd like to do is before adding a store I like to create a blank page to create a blank page is quite easy all you'll need to do is tap on the arrow right there you could tap on manage pages then from there you will see the option add shop page we're going to tap on that and you can see the shop now that the shop page has been added you can see right here this is a sample shop page all we'll need to do now is go back into the app market and then we are going to simply refresh the page once you have refreshed the page you should be able to now add sub drop shipping to your store and by adding sub drop shipping you will now be able to start sourcing products on aliexpress to add to your store so let us refresh the page real then you can see right here you are authorizing the binding of wix apps and you'll simply tap on buying account i want you to tap on imported products after you have selected imported products you can see some products that i've added to stores in the past now all you'll need to do is go onto aliexpress so for example i went onto aliexpress and let's say i wanted to add this product to my store all once you're on the product page as you can see right here you will simply copy the product url so let's copy the url real quick after you have copied the url you're going to go back into sub drop shipping so we'll go back and you'll simply paste the product url right here after you have done that you're going to tap on import product the product has now been imported all you'll need to do now is hover over the product with your mouse and you're going to tap on list it to store once you have selected list it to store you want to ensure that the correct store has been added right here if you have more than one stores so you'll tap right here where you see simple answers one let me ensure that the correct store has been added real quick once the product has been imported onto your wix website all you will need to do is go back into wix once on wix you are going to select products and from there you will see all of the sample products that they have added earlier and you can simply tap right here and then from there you could select more actions and you'll be able to remove those products by simply tapping on delete right here after you have selected delete you will now be able to add your new product by tapping on add new product right here you could choose to add your product so you could tap on physical product if you don't see it automatically added from sub drop shipping as i have come to realize that some of the time it is not automatically added on wix so you'll need to select the type of product so for example physical product and from there you'll be able to continue with your upload of your product so you'll be able to add the product name and so on now let's close out of this now after you have done that all you will need to do next let's say for example you'd like to add a pop-up you can simply do that by tapping on add elements after you have tapped on add elements you could scroll down and from there you could select interactive after you have selected interactive as you can see right here all you'll need to do is select light boxes so you can see the different pop-up options right here let's say we'd like to use one of these options you can see the different options right here let's say we want to use this i could simply tap on it so let's tap on it right there 
and you can see it has now been added to our store you can edit anything you want you can tap right there and you'll be able to edit the text you can edit the percentage off and you can also edit when it will appear to do that all you'll need to do is simply tap on the pop-up so you can tap on it then you're going to tap on set triggers right here after you have tapped on set triggers you will see this pop-up right here and after you have done that you can choose whether you would like it to appear after two seconds or you can scroll down and you can set a schedule right there when you would like it to appear now all you'll need to do is simply tap on save in the top right hand corner. Then you'll tap on save and continue. After you have tapped on save and continue, you're going to tap on done. Then from here, you're going to tap on preview. After selecting preview, you'll be able to see how it looks. And you can see the pop-up appears right here. Now keep in mind that if you don't like the Wix platform, there are numerous other platforms that you can use. And a good one that I would recommend is Shopify. And with Shopify, again, you'll also be able to get started for completely free. And there are numerous tutorials on how to use Shopify. And it is a lot more beginner friendly to me than Wix. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. And unfortunately, with sub drop shipping, it seems like it does not automatically add the products to your Wix store. So you'll need to manually do it as what I was showing you earlier.